What's up, everybody? So, as you can see, work isn't finished. Don't worry, I'm not going to get into the whole why they're not finished. They're supposed to be here tomorrow, but they're not. I called the management today and they said that they have another job to do tomorrow. Even though I was promised that tomorrow they would be here. They're not coming tomorrow. They won't be here until Thursday. But we're going to see because it's just been one lie after the other. So we're going to see. But I'm not going to say anything else about this kitchen being worked on until it's finished. Because I don't want to keep boring y'all with that. Because I know at this point y'all must be tired of hearing about it because I'm tired of talking about it. But I'm just letting y'all know because this is what's going on in my life and it is what it is. But anyway, I did buy some things for the kitchen so I want to show y'all. So the floor is tile so I didn't want to get any metal um, dishes or, or glass plates or anything like that or tie, um, you know, porcelain plates or anything like that because if it hits the floor, it'll crack the tile. So I got plastic plates and I got black. So it's eight plates that come. This is a nine inch plate. So this is what it looks like. And I like that it has this here curve around the plate because I ain't got to worry about food slipping off the plate by mistake. So it comes eight plates, eight, it comes eight plates, eight, um, eight bowls, eight cups, and I think 16, no, four, 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 um, no, eight spoons, eight forks, eight knives, butter knives, uh, eight plates, eight um, cups, and eight bowls. I think I paid like 30 something dollars for them. These are the bowls. Now, these are not that big. But, you know, it's perfect because, like I said, me and my husband are trying to lose weight. So, you know what I'm saying? We don't need any gigantic bowls anyway when we're eating cereal or something like that. So, honestly, this is perfect size for us. And let me show y'all. The cups are kind of small. The cups are smaller than I would like them to be, honestly. But my husband was like, no, this is perfect because when people are drinking, you don't want them wasting. This is like maybe about four ounce cup. But he said it's, he said it's big enough, so I don't know. I think it should have been a little bigger, but it is what it is. They're either gonna drink out of them or not. Let me put this down here. I can show you all what else. Oh, look at this. Being that we have tile floors, I wanted to get, um, like, well, my husband was talking about getting um, like a whipper, a whipper mop but I was like you know you have to keep buying sheets and stuff like that you know I realized I was watching one of my videos the other day and I realized I say stuff like that a lot I mean it was one video that I watched and I had to say stuff like that maybe about 20 times and I was like oh my god and you know you don't realize when you're doing videos, you don't realize how often you say certain things. So I bought me a, uh, a mop, one of these ringer, ringer type mops, where, let me see, this is, this is the stick. I gotta figure out how to use this thing. But anyway, you put this, let me show you. Put this here, 
on here like this, screw it in. Now I'm gonna sit y'all up higher so y'all can see me better. Okay. So you put this on here, you screw this on, and then you take this, this is the mop, you take this and you proceed proceed to snap it on. Here, let me put this through here first. It looks like it's coming out. And you snap it on. And there you go. And then this here extends. Okay, here it goes. You, you screw it like this. I'm gonna make it longer, like that. And then I'll show you. I'm gonna this up. So basically, you put the water. You put the water in here. And in here, I think this here, um, there's a clean water. This here is the water you use to dip it in there to wash it. So when you want to rinse it, you put the you put the mop in here. You put the mop in here, and then you like push down on this, and it spins it. It spins the mop and rinses it. So. I got that. Yep. And uh, let me take my name, my tags over here. Excuse me one minute, y'all. I have a pot pie and a, a chicken pot pie in the oven. I'm gonna make sure I don't burn it. Yeah, so I I bought some, a couple of things. I gotta get a curtain for this window. I have to get blinds for this window. Oh, and I also got some LED motion sensor lights. This is to go up under the counter, the cabinets. So, you know, I would be putting them like right up under here. And basically, whenever somebody's in the kitchen, if they got to use the counter, it'll automatically come on. So you basically just take the strip off the back and stick it, and you just stick it up here like this, and that's that. And uh, so I got that for this. I only needed three. And, and this here only comes three. So that was perfect. So it's one, two, and then the third one is over here. I got that. Put this on. Everything that I got, I got off of Amazon. Let me see. Okay. Oh, and I, I also have something because what we're going to do is, right, the refrigerator goes here, right? But on the side of the refrigerator, because we don't have, we don't have um, a table. We can't get a table in here. This kitchen is way too small to put a table. And then I have a deep freezer that's going to go right over here. My deep freezer is going to go right here. So the deep freezer will be here. The refrigerator is here. So we didn't have enough room to put a table because the, the this kitchen is way too small. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a nook, right? And the, the refrigerator is going to go here, from here, that way. So right here, we're going to just put 
a nook here and we're going to get like two little bar stools to sit here this way when my granddaughter's in here because a lot of times we'll eat in the living room but i don't like her eating in the living room because she gets stuff like ketchup and stuff she'll get it on her hands and she'll wipe it on her clothes or she'll you know a couple of times we saw her wiping her hands on the couch and i can't have that so we're going to put the little nook here with the two bar stools here so i had got this here to put in the kitchen to put over the nook so oh this is a whole It's a whole thing. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Oh, this is gonna take some drawing and stuff. Oh, I didn't know this was. A... Oh. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna have to cut this stuff out. I'm gonna have to cut this stuff out. Dang. Let me see. How does this? Oh, I'm gonna have to cut it out, peel it, and then staple it. You know what? Honestly, this is my fault. You see? How she's doing it. I didn't know. I didn't pay attention. That's my fault. I thought that I was buying something that that already came assembled that I just had to put. Ugh, so now I'm gonna have to, all right, shoot. <sighs> all right, so this is gonna take a little work. And now I'm a little, a little pissed off because I should have paid more attention to what I was buying. So it's my fault. I thought it, I thought honestly it was some mirrors that came assembled already. So, yeah, so it's got tape and stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna just have to put in a little work. I didn't wanna have to put in no work. I didn't get enough putting everything in that living room. And, geez. Anyway. I don't board it, so I have no other choice now. Get in there. It's like stencil almost, you know? the people that do, was doing the work in the kitchen, I asked them about a backsplash, you know, once they put the countertop on. He said that they didn't approve a backsplash. So I said to him, who don't approve a backsplash for a kitchen when you put in a kitchen counter? You know what I'm saying? On the, on, who doesn't approve? That's, that should be a part of the process. You, you put down the counter, Naturally, it should be a backsplash, but he said they didn't approve the backsplash. So I had to go get, buy my own backsplash. So y'all, this is this is a, a place and press. So I wasn't about to get the real tile for this, because this, like I said, this is not my house, this is an apartment. So I'm not about to spend no crazy money on some tile for somebody else's apartment. So this here tile was, Place and Press was about, I think it's 10 in here. And I bought two packs. 
So it's 12 by 12 um, wall tile, 10 sheets. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. See it? So I'm going to be putting that. I'm going to be putting that on the wall here. I'm going to fix it up. Once they finish the kitchen, then I'm going to really hook up the kitchen. So let me show you. Let me see if I can bring it over here. It's hard to, it's hard to, it's hard for y'all to see. Let me show you. So it'll be like, you know, on the, but up under here like this. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, so it's basically peel and press. You know what I'm saying? Because I want it to look a little nice. The floors are gray. I mean, the floors are white with like gray lines throughout. You know what I'm saying? So I picked this up. So once they finish the counters, then me and my husband will get in here and we'll cut it and put it on the back of the counter. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully it'll look really nice. You know, I, I'm kind of wishing it was like a more a, like puffed out a little bit. So this way it it would sit out a little more instead of being flat. But then again, you know, it is what it is. You get what you get. So, so I'm just, like I said, I'm just, while I'm here, I just want it. You know, I'm not trying to go overboard, spending crazy money. You know what I'm saying? Naturally, I need a curtain because my window, my kitchen window, is facing somebody else's kitchen window. So naturally, until I leave here, I have to make it comfortable, livable, you know, and I have to make it look decent because I don't want people coming here looking at my apartment and saying, oh my gosh, that lady place is little you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to have that. So that's why I've, I've already told my family and stuff like that. I told them do not come to my house. And I know I just said stuff like that. Uh, I told them do not come to my house. Do not come visit me because my apartment is in shambles. And I don't want nobody coming here and seeing it like this. So I have to get uh, blinds for the window. And I have to get curtains for the window. And I'm trying to decide on what kind of curtains because they, you don't, with kitchen curtains, you don't really get a variety. It's always either some damn, or it's either checkerboard or um, some kind of country kitchen type of thing. It's something with, you know, um, you see uh, loaves of bread on, on, the, on the curtains or you see turkeys on the curtains or you see flowers and stuff like that. And I want something a little more sophisticated. I don't want the, the average type of kitchen curtains. Because just because it's a kitchen and that's where you cook, you don't need to put have food on your on your curtains or 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 uh, loaves of bread on there or you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. You've seen curtains for the kitchen. You see it's all the same thing, checkerboard or a turkey or something like that, something with uh, seasoning. It's anyway, so I'm just trying to find something really nice. I'm trying to find something really nice. Um, because I'm not, I'm really not trying to do the, the normal type of uh, kitchen curtains. I want it to look more elegant. I'm thinking about, um, just getting some nice gray curtains. Um, I don't want nothing that comes all the way down. I want something that kind of, you know, with a little bow on it or something like that. I said it again. I can't help it, y'all. I want to stop because I hate saying it, but I, 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 it's a habit. But anyway, so yeah, so I still got to get curtains. I still gotta get um I gotta get curtains, I gotta get blinds. I ordered some cookie jars. Um 
You got to be here Thursday, the cookie jars. I ordered, I forgot what else I ordered. Oh, I have to, I have to order some um, dividers. I'm not sure if that's what they call them, dividers, but the, the uh, spoon, forks, knives, and, um, you know, the utensils. I have to get the divider that separates the, so I can put it in the drawer. This is a nice wide drawer right here. So I can get a really nice size one in there. But yeah, I gotta buy that. Uh, I done put some of my groceries in the cabinets already. Um, I gotta put the rest in there, but I gotta wait till they finish in here before I can really, really start working on this, this kitchen. And not, not only that, I gotta put, there were shelves here. There were shelves here. So the microwave is gonna go here and then there's gonna be shelves above the microwave where I put um, cereal boxes and stuff. Well, it's not gonna be cereal boxes. I'm getting canisters and I'm gonna put the cereal in the canister. This way they stay fresh longer and I'm gonna put them up here, but there's gonna be shelves here like that. So I'm just waiting for them to finish. Once they finish, then I can finish doing what I need to do for this kitchen. Oh, and then, you know, there's a door right here. You can't see it, but there's a door right here that um, is where the, um, the wash and dry is. What I'm gonna do is get an accordion door. I'm gonna get an accordion door to close that off so you can't see inside the laundry room from the kitchen, because I hate being in this kitchen and looking in there. So I want to get an accordion door. I found one. It's only about 80 something dollars. So I want to, I want to get that. Cause I don't want to put a regular door here. I could, but I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to have something to where I have to open because then that's going to make the space smaller in here. And I think a door would get, honestly, I think a door would get in the way so accordion door would be perfect to go right in the space. So I got that going on. I want to get um, another set of pots because I need another set of pots. Um, and yeah, I, know, I don't want y'all thinking I'm doing a lot like, oh, you know, I thought you was looking for a house while you buying stuff. Because one, because this is a new kitchen. So I do want to fix it up and have some new appliances. And it doesn't matter what I buy for this apartment because whatever I buy, believe me, is going with me when I leave here. The only thing can't go with me is the floors and I didn't pay for that. The owners of the building did, so I'm not worried about that. But anything I buy is coming with me. That's why I told my husband, he said, babe, don't go crazy. I said, I'm not going crazy, but I do want my kitchen now that I have a kitchen that gonna, that's going to look decent, I want to make it a little cute, you know what I'm saying, for the time being. Until we leave here, I want to have my kitchen looking nice. So, and like I said, like the cookie jar that I buy is going with me. The only thing that's not going with me is this here place and press tile because I can't use that once I put it on there. But everything else, my dishes, my pots, my silverware, my mop and bucket, everything that I can pick up literally and walk out with is going with me when I move. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Oh, let me go. Let me get my pot pie out here. to show y'all today um i want to get this place back in order by um saturday and then the oh and then the my tv the tv my flat screen in my bedroom it finally went but we've had that tv for a while so the tv that i had in the living room on the wall i put in my bedroom 
So, and that was a 65 inch. So I put that in my bedroom. So we're gonna buy a, a, an 85 inch TV to go in the living room because the living room TV needs to be bigger anyway because it's the living room. So we're gonna buy a, a 85 inch to put in the living room. And I got the TV that was in the living room. It's in my bedroom now. And that's the 65 inch. The TV that I had in my bedroom was a 55. 55 inch so we doing a little rotation thing type <laughs> you know what I'm saying because at first my husband was like oh we should give the TV the one in the living room give it away give it to somebody and I was like for what there's nothing wrong with it so let's put it in the bedroom so we put it in the bedroom and now we get a bigger TV for the living room so I'll take y'all along with us when we go looking for a TV I'm not sure if he's gonna order it online or if he's gonna go. Well, more than likely we'll probably go into Best Buy, see what they got and either order it um, there or go see what they have and then come back home and then order it online. I don't know which, which route we're gonna go, but either way, there's gonna be an 85 inch up there. But anyway. Y'all, that's all I have for y'all today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me a thumbs up, share me out with your family and friends. Y'all, please hit that like button, y'all. Please hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know I tell you all the time what I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to get monetized, y'all. And I truly, 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 truly would appreciate it. If y'all give this uh, video and all my other videos a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and share me out with your family, your friends. And for all the newcomers, hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you stay and I hope you enjoy my content. And for those that have been with me, rocking with me, hey y'all, hey fam, what's up? <laughs> So anyway, that's all I have for y'all. I'm going to go in the room. I'm going to eat my pot pie because I'm feeling a little woozy here. And I will talk to y'all later. Be blessed, y'all. Stay blessed. Peace. I'm out.